Welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys a very, very quick meal prep idea. I am all about things that are fast. I'm a busy person. I have a lot going on with my job. So when I have to do my lunches for the week and I want to eat healthy, I want to meal prep, but I don't want to sit in the kitchen and cook for two hours. So this is super simple. It's cheap to make. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get into the video. It's chicken tenders that are marinated in the air fryer. Simple, really doesn't need a video, but a few of you guys asked me about them. So I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you. Remember, if you like these videos, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you have not. And let's get into this simple, super simple meal prep video. What I have here are boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins, and I have the G Hughes sugar-free lemon herb marinade. So one, so when I scan this on my Weight Watchers app, one tablespoon is zero uh, WW smart points. So I'm not gonna use the whole thing. I'll probably use about a fourth of a cup for all of these tenders. I'm gonna let them marinate um, and then marinate for a while and then we'll cook them in the air fryer. So I'll go ahead and put these in a bowl, add my marinade. I think I'm only gonna use a fourth of a cup. Points will be on screen and I'll show you what I'm gonna do for my, and then how I'm gonna cook them. Super easy meal prep for lunch for the week. This is my, like what I need in my life, super simple. So I actually only used um, a third of a cup. I don't mind my scratched off stuff, but I only used a third of a cup for all, I think there was 13 tenders, and that honestly was more than enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover these with some plastic wrap, put them in the refrigerator, and let them marinate for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna pop them in the air fryer. Okay, so my chicken tenders, if you hear the noise in the background, it's my air fryer that is um, preheating. So my chicken tenders actually sat in the refrigerator for about 24 hours and marinated because I did not eat, end up cooking them yesterday. So my air fryer is almost preheated. I'm gonna cook them at 400. So I'm gonna put um, those in there in just a minute and we'll go ahead and we'll see how long I'm gonna cook them for. So I preheated my air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken tenders in my air fryer. Okay, they're in the air fryer. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in at 400 degrees for six minutes and then I'll turn them and do another six minutes. Okay, so I've done these. I did six minutes at 400, flipped them and did eight minutes. So let's check them and they look good. They're browned so you know they're done and you can either take them like this. I'm probably gonna check them maybe do another two minutes but check your tenders and then go decide how much longer you want to cook them. For another two minutes, I flipped them and did another two minutes. So now they're all browned evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and cook my second batch. And then we'll come back. Okay, guys. So these are my chicken tenders. They look amazing. I'll have them for lunch tomorrow and tell you what they taste like. But I did taste the marinade already. And this is that, like I said in the beginning, this is the G. Hughes lemon and herb marinade so so good and because it's such low, low points i'm gonna have about three tenders a day th three or four and they're zero points because you took a fourth of a cup and stretched it between all of them so zero points i'll probably have this um like i said in a wrap with a, probably a little bit of yellow mustard because I love yellow mustard. But if you love honey mustard or a Dijon, that would go well on it. I'm a pretty basic bitch, so I'm probably just gonna do like a wrap um, with the tenders and some mustard and I don't know what else I'm gonna put in it. Maybe a little bit of um, a reduced fat cheese. I'm not really sure. I'll figure that out in the morning when I make it and you'll see it. Um, well, in the next clip, you'll see it. So, um, 
let me go ahead and tell you guys if, if uh, this was a super easy thing and that's why I wanted to show it because sometimes meal prepping doesn't have to be hard you don't have to be in the kitchen cooking for hours because your girl is not about that life so if these sound good to you then definitely give them a try if you try them and you have Instagram take a picture tag me in it let me know if you don't follow me on Instagram it's in the description box below as always so guys thank you so much for watching if you like these recipe videos even the easy ones give the video a thumbs up it helps me it helps my channel if you have not subscribed I would love it if you took the time to hit the subscribe button down below become part of my friends and family here on YouTube and as always guys I appreciate every single one of you you guys mean the world to me and have a great night see y'all in my next video and stay tuned for the little clip of how it tastes and all that jazz bye